has come just, uh, you know, I think, in the last 20, 30 minutes or so. And that's the reason why it's putting pressure on the Nifty. Keep in mind, the Nifty also has weekly expiry that is playing out. And early in the session, you know, some of these puts were getting written at will. Now let's see whether or not they get trapped on the wrong side because that 3 p.m. move has come about. But Nimesh is joining in to tell us what he's picking up in terms of Dishree Chatter. Hey, Nimesh, uh, great game yesterday for you to go ahead and uh, witness. Uh, but tell us uh, about uh, what are you picking up in terms of flows. I know, you know, I guess from a from a market perspective, uh, the the vertical fall what we are saying is largely on the back of uh, a, a large basket selling. That was the feedback in the morning that uh, there is going to be a large basket selling. Market it closes is what they mean, uh, and and that was a long list of stocks, uh, the, you know, from the large institution. So maybe that explains a, a vertical fall not only in the Nifty but in the Bank Nifty and in the IT names as well. Uh, you know, while while the markets were rallying in the first half, it was more on more on short covering than than, than genuine buying. From the larger institutions, I guess uh, the the only segment which is doing good, and there is flows as well, is the broader markets, and that's that's that has relatively been outperforming even in today's trade. Even as far as IT is concerned, well, the IT index was up uh, nearly three odd percent, but the feedback was the the rally in the in the IT stocks today was largely on short covering and not fresh buying. So uh, uh, the overall feedback is while while there was a f big move in the first half, it was largely on short covering, but the flows are uh, flows are on the negative side, and potentially you'll see a negative figure. Largely on the back of this big uh, basket selling in the last 30 hours, or 30 minutes of trade. Mm. Mm, okay, yeah, this was this literally came out of nowhere. Uh, anyway, any uh, chatter on stocks, Nimesh? Well, there are a lot of stocks which are buzzing in trade, la largely from the large cap, from the broader market. So the first target on my list today is India Bull Housing. It's in the band, but uh, there is a delivery-based, cash-based buying happening uh, from larger HNI. So that's the reason why in a, in, a, in, in in today's market that stock is buzzing in trade. So that's the first one. The second stock is uh, uh, all cargo terminals. It's not the all cargo logistics, but the but the other demolished uh, arm. So that's buzzing in trade up 15% on very large volumes. I understand uh, uh, there was a large you know volume there, and uh, uh, leading FI was a seller in today's block. Looks looks like a clean out trade, and after that a big move in that stock. So that's the second one. The third stock is Manapuram Finance. Uh, post earnings, uh, we've seen a big move in that stock. Even in today's trade, it's buzzing in trade, and large land back of strong buy flow. So. Looks like some larger institution interest is back in that stock and it's a big move there. And the last one is Glenbach Pharma. Again, this is one stock after running saw a bit of a correction and, and after that you've seen a bit of an up move in that stock as well. For the last few days, the feedback is some, some uh, you know, leading uh, uh, family offices and, and a domestic mutual fund is quite active buying into that stock and hence a big up move in that stock as well. Okay, all right, Nimesh, thanks a lot for that, for giving us the entire flow picture as well as individual stocks what you're picking up. By the way, just pull up ITC, you know, that 